welcome to the University of California, Merced. My name is Billy. A little bit about myself, I was born and raised here in Merced. I am a second year human biology major with a minor in psychology. Some of the stuff that I'm involved with here on campus, aside from being a campus tour guide, is that I'm part of AMSA, which stands for the American Medical Student Association, and I also volunteer at the Early Childhood Educational Center here on campus. I have also partaken in a research internship during my first year here at UC Merced. These are some of the activities that I've been able to do here as a student at UC Merced that maybe one day you can experience too. Currently, we're looking at our 2020 project, and right now we can see our new pavilion and our new dorms, Glacier Point and Granite Pass. Fun fact, Glacier and Granite also serve as lecture halls on the first floor, but we are looking at momentarily all opened in fall of 2018 as a component of phase one of our 2020 project. This is all new to our students, and as we continue to expand, we will have a lot of new buildings, resources, and equipment for our students. We are now passing our Sustainability Research and Engineering Building. This building opened as a component of Phase 2 of our 2020 project in the fall of 2019. As we transition from the social part of campus and travel to the north side of campus, we must come across Scholars Lane or Mineral King Bridge. To our left, we can see our Collegian Library. The library has been certified lead gold, which joins an ongoing list of our buildings here on campus. In our library, we have many services that are offered for student use. On the first floor, we have our lantern. This floor is open 24 seven and students can come at any time and study or just hang out. We also have our lantern cafe, which sells drinks and pastries to our students as early as 7 a.m. Behind our lantern cafe, we have our financial aid and student first center. These are crucial departments for our students. Our students' first center is where students go for any questions regarding anything they have. Down the hallway, we have our Office of International Affairs, which advances global engagement at UC Merced. On the upper floors of the library, we have printers and collaborative rooms that students are allowed to reserve and study with peers or conduct meetings. Aside from this, you might have a class inside the library. Following our library, or behind our library, we have our Classroom and Office Building, or COB1. This building is a School of Social Sciences, Humanities, and Arts, or SHAW, which is what we students call it. This building is three floors tall and is organized cleverly. The first floor has our lecture halls. A fun fact is that our largest lecture hall is actually in this building and holds over 250 students, but we never fill it to capacity because we want to keep our 21 to 1 student faculty ratio. On the second floor, we have our School of Social Sciences, Humanities and Arts advising office. Here is where you go if you have any questions regarding academics. Additionally, on the second floor, we have smaller classrooms for our discussion sections. Lastly, on the third floor, we have offices for our professors and teaching assistants. Here is where you go to ask help if you don't understand something in class. Directly behind COB1, we have COB2, the newer and updated version of COB1. The last building to our left is our Student Services Building, or SSB. On the first floor of SSB, we have our lecture halls. On the second floor, we have our Center of Career and Professional Advancement. And on the third floor, we have our Chemistry and Math Center, aside with our Graduate Division Department. The Social Sciences and Management Building is the back building to our right. This is more of an art-based building. Here we have classrooms, labs, a dance room, a computer lab, and much more. Now we can see Science and Engineering Building 1, which by the way is LEED certified gold. Science and Engineering 1 is the home of School of Natural Sciences. The majors available for this school are Applied Mathematical Sciences, Biological Sciences, Chemical Sciences, Physics, and Environmental System Sciences. On the first floor, we have our Biology, Chemistry, and Physics labs. On the second floor, we have our Advising Team and more Research Labs. On the third floor, we have offices for our Professor and Teaching Assistant's office hours. We additionally have an, our amazing STEM Center, which makes us more of a unique institution in the nation. We are one of two schools in the nation that actually allow our undergrads to work with stem cells. The other school is Stanford. Science and Engineering Building number 2 is home of School of Engineering. Some of the amazing majors offered here are Bioengineering, Computer Science, and Mechanical Engineering, along with 
many more engineering majors. On the first floor, we have our labs and small lounges where students can go regardless of major to study. The walls are made of whiteboards and the carpet is recycled. This is why science and engineering building number two is pending to be certified platinum, which basically means it's very sustainable. On the second floor, we have our advising team, and on the third floor, we have more offices for professor and teaching assistants office hours. Built in 2005, the Central Utility Plant was the first energy plant in the United States to be LEED certified gold. Our central plant generates and distributes chilled water, heating hot water, and steam. So it's fascinating to know that our buildings are cooled down by running water through the walls, heat is used for space conditioning, and steam is used in research labs to sterilize samples. Here on campus, we want to be the most sustainable we can be, and our central plant is a big component of that. In the back, we have our transportation and parking services, or TAPS. TAPS is committing to providing safe and reliable parking and transit services for all students, faculty, staff, and visitors. Also in the back, we have our police department. UC Merced is dedicated to the safety and security of our campus and its surrounding communities. Our officers are always on campus to keep us safe. Going straight down and behind our police department, we see a lot of land. Us students at UC Merced are very lucky to have nature all around us. If we look towards the back of campus, we can see our Verna Pools Grassland Reserve. We have about 6,500 acres that are protected by the law. Luckily, as future researchers, we are able to take advantage of this resource and head out and do labs. In our protected grasslands, we have endangered organisms such as our fairy shrimp. As we move to the left, we can see our library and classroom and office building one. And now we have a better view of classroom and building office two, which I mentioned earlier. Now we can see a large mass of water. This is Lake Yosemite. Here, a lot of students go to hang out with their friends, barbecue, play volleyball, and go on walks. Those are just some of the activities students can do at Lake Yosemite. Now, we are looking at an overview of campus from the north side perspective. Here, we can see our recreational department and all of our housing. Now, as we pass Scholars Lane, we enter a new part of campus. Here, we see our little lake, our new dorms, our pavilion, our arts and computational building, our sustainability research and engineering building, and even our biomedical and physics building which is, by the way, as long as a football field. In this building, we will be studying diseases and viruses. I wish I could stay, but I don't want to be late for chemistry. But thank you so much for checking out this video, and hopefully you have discovered how amazing the University of California Merced is. If you want to see more, we have alternative videos that you can watch and gain more of an insight of our beautiful campus, UC Merced.